And today we're going to teach you how to train a llama. We've got Summer, Rocky, and we have Callie right here. Randy Rogers, Emily Talbot, Connor Looker, Alex Shankle. Today we're going to talk about the four basic classes that happen when you show a llama. And starting off, we'll start with obstacles. Obstacles is a general class where llamas go through obstacles like walking over planks, jumping over logs, weaving in and out of cones, and looking into the mirror. Okay, um, the second one would be public relations. Um, this can these obstacles vary from nursing homes to schools, and obstacles can include like putting a hat on a llama or waving through a wheelchair. The third category is pack. Since llamas originate in South America, they are used to climbing the Andes Mountains with things on their back. So for the pack class, you will see uh, putting things on the llama's back and taking them off to practice that. And the final class is showmanship, which is woo, basically woo, how well you show off your animal. <laughs> okay, so now you guys are going to jump over the log. And a couple things to keep in mind when you jump, you want to make sure that your hand is up and you want to make sure you tell them to jump. Jump, jump, jump. Come on. No, no, no. Jump, jump, jump. Good job. This is the weaving obstacle. And a few things to keep in mind is have your hand behind your hip and uh, make sure you have control of the animal and leading them through the cones. Come on. public relations obstacle. The llamas will come through and look at themselves in the mirror so that they can see their reflection, like what it would be like in a nursing home or school, so that they don't get skittish when they see their reflection. Okay, this is part of the PR class where we add a blanket to the llama. Make sure you have to approach it on the left side of the object. Make sure you have the lead in your left hand so you don't cross over it. Take the blanket and then you put it on the back of the llama. Okay, so now we're going to get into showmanship, and the whole objective of showmanship is how well the handler and the llama work together. The judge judges on how well the handler mm -hmm. shows off themselves. 
couple things to keep in mind in showmanship is your lead rope is completely different than performance. You do the symbol and right where the metal is to your thumb, that's usually where your first J is, and then the other J is down here. You can either have your hand on your hip or to the side properly, and then you're going to walk in a circle, and then you'll line up side by side. When you're walking in the circle, there's a couple things to keep in mind. You want to make sure you keep eye contact with the judge at all times, as well as llamas link between you and the llama in front of you. When judging a llama, there are three things that the judge looks for. The first is if the animal is lined up properly with the animal that would be beside it. The second is if the toes are pointed towards the animal. And the last one is the quadrant where the participant moves around the llama as the judge walks around. So now, this is the most important part of showmanship, and that is the one-on-one -on -one with the judge. The handler is going to walk their animal up to the judge after the judge acknowledges them. So you want to make sure when you're walking your animal up to the judge that you walk it straight towards the judge and you leave enough length between you and the judge. Now the judge will ask to pet your animal. So the handler will take their arm out like that, and the judge will just pet through, and then the handler will pet back down. And usually the judge will walk around and do quadrants, and then they will proceed to ask. Uh, they'll proceed to ask a question, and then they will ask you to return your place back in line. So you turn into your animal, and then you make sure that you walk straight away from the judge and back through the line, and line up back with the first person in line. Rocky wins! Gaggle of peacocks, of peacock. That's a koi. These action shots. And I'm Grant, the photographer, and this concludes our training of llamas. Hope you enjoyed. Uh.